Welcome to Talk in New England. I will be your host, Sean, and uh, covering just random things that we're up to during COVID-19 days. It is May 1st, 2020. Uh, today I'm in my daughter's room and going to be doing some painting. We are going to be painting this room, as you can see. Uh, she doesn't want purple and pink anymore. Growing up, you know, one of those things. We're going to go with a nice gray, so we're going to see how that goes. Follow me. All right, we've got the uh, the whole room taped off and about to start doing the, uh, the painting. So let's see how this comes along. Everything's... Uh, taped and ready to go and I will have you know that painting is my least favorite of everything so who who uh, who knows that they love you girl child hmm you're welcome and the, the painting has begun this is a paint color called silent movie I think I'll double check that it's just a Home Depot paint uh, color, bear, I believe, but yeah, it's coming along now. We've got uh, the pink wall to go. First coat going up. Uh, it's starting to really pop. We weren't sure if we were in love with this just yet, but it's uh, it's coming along. Okay, we are moving right along with the, uh, the room. I'm gonna go ahead and start calling this a remodel of this room. Oh, let me see, the color's not really working out well that way. Maybe this is better. So, walls are painted. Uh, just had a nice vacuum with the old Kirby. And we are about to uh, hook up the, the shampoo operation that goes along with this old Kirby. And we're gonna see how that pops the floor it's a heater up against the wall there too. Uh, yeah, it's coming along. I think this color is going to be really nice. And yeah, check back in in a minute. And we are on step four or five at this point of the uh, bedroom makeover. We've got the new furniture all sanded down and wiped and ready to be brought in for a coat of paint. We've got a couple of dressers with a big cool mirror right there and a headboard, footboard. Uh, yeah, lots of drawers. Should be good. All right, smile. <laughs> Here we are painting <clears throat> the furniture for the uh, the bedroom redo. As you can see, the old color. It was a gold trim and whitish, creamish wood, and we're painting everything pretty much white. And uh, some of these drawers are already done, and it's a beautiful day. Beginning of May here, so yeah, we figured we'd take advantage. Off we go. Okay, furniture is painted and roughly moved into the room here. So you can see the two dressers. This long dresser is going to have a large mirror mounted on the back top of it. Uh, her four drawer high, regular height dresser, headboard, and the headboard's a little shorter than I was thinking it was going to be, but I think it's going to be really good. Uh, lots of other drawers and the bookshelf back here. Uh, yeah, hope I'm not making everyone sick. But this is coming together. The color and the trim is all looking good. Uh, Anissa did a really good job today cleaning all of the all of the, the door, the closet, the bedroom door, doorway, and all these things. Yeah. Let's see what's next. And here is the final product for Molly's bedroom makeover. Uh, I'm gonna leave it up to her to decide how she wants to put up her decorations and things. Now there's gonna be a little bit more wall space going on. She's got her nice uh, wide dresser with this lovely full length and height mirror. Uh, her bed over here with a little bit of room to be able to get to the Windows and the heat register is going to be clear. Her nice cubbies here at the end of the bed. And yeah, still has nice bookshelf space and closet and uh, the other matching dresser. And these, uh, these, these handles came out perfectly. So there we have it. Uh, a little bit of a uh, video progression of... Uh, 
a young lady who will be turning 12 soon's birth uh, uh, bedroom <laughs> update. And that's how it goes. We have a uh, an antique Singer sewing machine here as her desk, which is kind of neat Oops. because it, excuse me, will actually fold up and allow her to, and the, the sewing machine incidentally is still in there and still actually functions, but uh, this is a great space here to be able to do some schoolwork now that everybody's learning from home these days. But there it is. Great.